I wanted to make some peach jam. So I have my peaches, I have washed them and I scored X's on them. I'm gonna drop them into some hot water for a few minutes. I have another video on that. And by dropping them in the water for probably about a minute, pull them out, they, the skins peel right off of them. So I'll be doing that. I have jars, the half pint, and a pan. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here. Probably about, I don't know, two inches of water. And I will get those heated up to sterilize them. They're nice and clean, but I'll be sterilizing them. I have some lids and then the rims that go on to secure. And I am going to use sheer gel today. Um, a lot of times I've used the other sheer gel that you can use fruit juice with, white grapefruits. White grape juice, frozen concentrate works good. But today I'm just going to be using some organic sugar that I got at Costco. So there's that. I'm just waiting for my water to start boiling and I'll get the rest of my supplies out. Okay, I got some of my supplies out. I have a funnel a magnet that gets the lids out of my hot water. So I have the lids in hot water. Um, a non-metallic. I use a spatula to go down in the jars after I have the jars full to get any air pockets out. And then this is a jar grabber. So that's what I have so far. And when I'm reading my instructions, this is for freezer jam, which is absolutely wonderful. Here is jelly. Read your instructions completely and before you start. Here's quick and easy freezer jam and jelly directions. Here is jam and jelly. This is my directions. And I am boiling my water canner. I'll get that in a minute. I'm gonna prepare my fruit after I get the, it skinned. And let's see, I'm doing peach. It's on the other side. I need four cups of peaches. And I just took my peaches out of the hot water. They're still hot, you can see them steaming. Um, let them cool off a little bit and the skins peel right off them. I'll show you, let's see, one right here. And for this recipe, I need four cups. They just come right off. Okay, and in my pan, I have my peaches, four cups of peaches. It's chopped really small. Most of them are chopped really small. It calls for two tablespoons of lemon juice. Don't forget the lemon juice. And I'm gonna start heating this up and kind of mashing it a little bit. And, um, and then we'll add the sugar, five and a half half cups. Okay, here I am. I'm adding my sugar to my batch. It's five and a half cups. And then I'm just gonna let this cook down. And it takes about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. And then it'll be ready for the pectin. I just added my uh, pectin and I'm going to stir it and this is where you want it to come back to a boil when it's even when you're stirring it you want it to be boiling and then what happens is you want to uh, uh, boil it for one minute straight if you don't boil it for one minute straight, uh, if you do not boil it for one minute straight, when you can your jam, you will have peach syrup, which nothing wrong with that, but it'll be peach syrup for sure. So you really want to make sure that when you're stirring it, that you see that it's boiling. And then from there, you start one minute. It's really crucial as, as you can probably tell, I've had it happen a few times. And okay, I want to show you. <clears throat> my jam cooked for one minute. And it's all ready to go. I have my 
jars sterilized in water, boiled water, my lids in hot water, and I have a funnel sitting here. I have my jar grabber. So I get some jars out and I invert them correctly. And in my canner I have I have enough space for seven jars. I'll start with these right now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna fill my jars to a half an inch, leave a half an inch head space. And it's so much nicer having a funnel to do this also. So get on all that. I always have a towel on my counters to keep all the sticky mess out. Now I just go around the edges for air bubbles. You don't want to touch the rims. And let's see. Then I'm going to take my clean wet rag and I'm going to go around the edge, clean off any jam that's on there. And I'm going to get a hot lid, do not touch it, set it on. I don't know if you can see that and put your lid on. And I, as I do this, I put it in the hot water so it stays nice and hot. And I'm going to process these. I'm at a higher elevation. So I added five minutes and I will process them for 15 minutes. It has a cute lid. I want it to be nice and sterilized. And continue doing those until you have your canner full. And then you're going to set your canner down in the water. You're going to let this down and then start timing it for uh, 15 minutes boiling. Okay, as you can see, my Timer just went off and it's time to pull my jams out. I've been letting it cool. It's time to take them out. Very hot. And here's the rest of them. So I made quite a bit of peach jam today. And I'll just <clears throat> let them cool overnight. And then I'll write what they are and put a date. And let me tell you something. Okay, this right here, don't leave the water sitting in here and this has to come out. It'll rust. So you take that out and then just dump your water and then store this back in here when it's dry. Okay, hope you have a good day.